We will be dry all day long. Check out that Tuesday bus stop planner. Not bad at all. Another day in the lower 70s as we should be 70 degrees for your average daytime high at this point in the year. So 74, we're just a little bit above it. But again, you notice those winds picking up. So wind gusts upwards of 20, 25 miles per hour throughout the afternoon and evening before that sun does set at 8.59 tomorrow. We have our first 9 p.m. sunset there. So if you head to the lakeshore, the waves will start to pick up as well. Those increased winds, our wind direction turning more westerly, that'll give us two to three foot waves for the afternoon and evening. So if you land along the lakeshore, uh, definitely not the safest, but lake water temperatures are really on the cooler side. Tonight, partly cloudy. We'll have that decreasing wind. 44 degrees is what we'll drop back to. Maybe some of you in our far northern communities could drop back into the 30s, have some frost potential. So that's something we'll watch as we get closer to our overnight hours. So stay tuned this evening for any updates uh, if the National Weather Service puts out anything. Dry and quiet, plenty of sunshine again tomorrow. We will be cooler tomorrow overall. That's that cooler temps behind that cold front that comes through today. But then on Thursday, we'll warm back up again. Still keep with the sunshine and beautiful conditions. Our rain chances, we're going to get to them though in just a moment. Here's a look at the start of that Super 7 Day Planner. 66 degrees tomorrow, so there's that little bit of a cool down, but we don't take long to get back into the 70s. We're there on Thursday, 73 degrees. 72 on Friday, then 68 on Saturday. Let's take a look at these rain chances. Breezy conditions both days. This is a look at the European model. We're going to continue to update you on this uh, day by day as we get a little bit more focus on this, but here we are Friday morning. We start to see this rain move in a pretty consistent line that just pushes through throughout the day on Friday might linger into early Saturday morning, especially the more east you live or travel and then throughout the day on Saturday we will be on a drying trend. So that's what things look like today. It's only Tuesday over the next couple of days. We'll continue to update this for you as we go day by day getting to that weekend, but I don't think the entire weekend will be a washout, especially Sunday. We have plenty of sunshine, 72 degrees on Monday. We keep a very uh, seasonal with these temperatures even leading into next week.